Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a revision question on differential equations. So let's take a look at the question. Question number two, solve the following differential equation. Sine x dy over dx equals tan y in a bracket 3 cos x plus sine x. So let's see how this can be done. Back to the paper and pen. Now, first of all, let's see whether this differential equation given is first order. So just as a reminder, if it is possible to rearrange it of the form py dy over dx is equal to q of x, where p, p of y is a function of y and q of x is a function of x, so if it's possible to rearrange this given equation in this form, that would make this equation first order. So let's see whether we can rearrange it in this form. So first thing that I'm going to do is if I take the tan y to the left, so if I divide both sides by tan y, and at the same time, if I take this sine x term to the right by dividing both sides by sine x. So in other words, if I divide by sine x tan y, we're going to have 1 over tan y dy over dx. And that is equal to 3 cos x plus sine x all over sine x. Now, let's go one stage further and try and simplify. So 1 over tan is cot. So I can write this as cot y dy over dx. And if I divide each term on the top, by sine x on the bottom, we're going to have 3 cos x divided by sine x plus sine x divided by sine x. So I've split this fraction so that for each term in the numerator, I divided by sine x in the denominator. So by doing this, the left hand term cot y dy over dx. But remember, cos x over sine x is cot x, so I'll have 3 cot x plus, and I can cancel the sine x term up and down to leave me with 1. Now, if we make an observation here, this equation is of the form py dy over dx equals q of x, so that would make this equation in our question first order. Now let's remind ourselves how to solve first order differential equations. Let's go to this screenshot showing the method. Now to solve first order differential equations, we need to use separating the variables. So remember the first step of separating the variables, we need to write on one side of the equation all terms involving y and dy, while on the opposite side of the equation, we need to write the x and dx terms. Back to the paper and pen. So here is step number one. So if we think about dy over dx as a fraction, now technically it's a function, but if we think about it as a fraction, I can take the dx to the right, leaving me with the y term cot y and dy, and I'm going to keep my y terms and dy terms on the left, but it's up to you where you put your y and dy terms because on the opposite side, you must write your x and dx terms. So since my y and dy terms are on the left, I'm going to leave my 3 cot x plus 1, here's my x term, along with the dx term on the right. So remember, this step is separating variables. So that is what step 1 is about, separating the variables. Now. Let's go to the next step, step number two, back to the screenshots. Step number two is we then integrate both sides of the equation to find the solution to the equation. So that is we need to integrate the left hand side and we need to integrate the right hand side terms. So back to the paper and pen. So we need to integrate the left hand side, which is cot y with respect to y. We also need to integrate the right hand side terms, which are 3 cot x plus 1 with respect to x. 
Now, let's think about the left-hand term. If we integrate cots, the answer is ln sine y. So you should get ln sine y for the left-hand term when you integrate cot. And if you integrate three cot x, you're going to get three ln sine x plus integration of one is x. Let's just add the c for completeness. So you can add the c on the right hand side or on the left hand side as long as you add one c it doesn't matter where you add the constant of integration but I tend to add the constant on the right hand side. So this therefore is the solution so this is our general solution. So this should be the solution to question number two. Now, if you're unaware of the concepts that I've used to solve this question, I have created videos explaining the concepts in greater detail, along with additional examples, and I'll provide links to those videos in the description below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice-related exercises, and I hope to see you again. Thank you.